All right, guys. So uh, I got kind of a, a new product in here. Um, for those of you that do anything in any kind of vehicles and you want to hook up accessories, uh, you know you've got a couple options. You can either hook it straight to the battery and have power on it all the time, or you can find a 12 volt switch source that's switched on with the ignition. Um, in a motorcycle, that's a little bit harder because you need to have as little wiring as possible, and you especially want as few ring terminals as possible going to the actual battery, because after a while you get those ring terminals stacked up for different accessories, and you can't get the screw in to the battery, and it just it's just a pain. Um, so with this, um, this eliminates all of that, and I've got something similar to this installed on my KLR650. Um, on my KLR I have what's called a Denali power hub and it's basically the same thing just a different company and a little more expensive and I only bought that one at the time because this one wasn't available um, the guy that made these I believe passed away and I guess his family or something finally started to uh, sell them again so now you can pick these up and the, the Denali power hub that I put in the KLR was pretty expensive like hundred and thirty dollars maybe somewhere around there 120 um, this one's $89 and you don't actually have to buy the wiring. They offer a wiring kit for it, but you can just buy just the hub and your fuses and stuff and then go pick up everything else separate because it's a lot cheaper to have it yourself and then you've even got extra wire. And we all know you always need wire of different gauges. Um, so that's my recommendation. Pick this up for 90 bucks and then buy everything else yourself and you're going to you're going to have tons of extra wire for a whole lot less money. Um, so basically what this does is you've got 12 volt, you've got switched 12 volt, and you have ground. So basically you run the 12 volt to your battery, the ground to your battery, and then you find a switch 12 volt on your motorcycle that's switched on with the key. That way you've got constant and switch power running into this. Okay, so now you've got connections on either side. Over here is 12 volt, over here is ground. Uh, you can hook up your accessories to each one. You can have up to six items on this one power block. Um, after that, all you need to do is decide whether you want them constant 12 volts. So if the key's off, you've always got power to that item. Uh, or you can have it switched. So when you turn the key on, power goes to that item. And basically, all you have to do to that, to get it to that once you hook everything up you just basically put a fuse either here or here and I'll open this up and show you uh, and you can move it between constant or switch 12 volt and basically if you want to change it later you pop open this cover and switch the fuse and it's that simple so now you can understand that everything is running into this and then you've only got two connections going to the battery and then one switch 12 volt going to the switch 12 volt on the motorcycle wherever you find it uh, it's, you know you can get it at different places on your on your bike um, but anyway, with this you've only got two cables going to your battery and only two sets of, you know, one ring on each. And that's uh, ten times better than trying to put six of them as opposed to, you know, you'd have six on each side on each negative and six on each positive. And it becomes a real pain when you want to take your battery out or change your connections around. Uh, so basically today we're going to uh, pop this open and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And then we're going to figure out a spot to put it on my 2001 DRZ 400. Uh, the KLR 650, the 07 I put it on, uh, I, it wasn't too hard. You know, I just popped up the seat, found a little spot, and made it fit. And uh, this one's a little bit smaller as uh, in diameter, not diameter, but in size as this way and this way than the Denali Power Hub. But it's actually thicker than the Denali Power Hub. And you can actually take this plate off here. This is the mounting plate, but you're still left with these standoffs underneath here so I might as well leave them on and try to find a spot for it because this kind of protects your connections you can look between there and you can still see the connections so I'd rather have that on there um, it does say it's water resistant I, I don't know how because everything is exposed um, so but I'm just gonna keep it under the seat anyway where it doesn't it shouldn't see any water at all even in a, in a heavy downpour there shouldn't be water and coming under my seat Okay, so I'm going to pop this cover off and I'll let you take a look. Alright, so I've taken the screws out, but I thought I'd give you a little bit closer look. Uh, this basically just lets you label everything and put the amps and that kind of thing on there. That way you 
uh, can keep everything organized. But basically, two screws and this cover pops off. Okay. And then in here, you can see. Let me get it to focus just a little bit better. All right. So in here, you can see this is the side you hook your your 12 volt to, and this side you hook the ground from your accessories that you're going to hook up. And then basically, you can either put the fuse uh, in these two slots. So you can see there's three slots here in the middle for each each one. So basically you either use these two or these two. You always use the one in the middle, but basically it, it switches between the uh, 12 volt switched or the 12 volt constant by switching this fuse. So I'll put it in here onto this one and let you look. And then we'll move down the next one. I'll put it here and let you look. And you can see All right, so now you can see that uh, if I had an accessory in this first slot, positive and ground on each side, and I had my fuse in there, that first accessory would be a constant 12 volt. And you can see that by right underneath here on the side it says constant 12 volt. So if the fuse is on that side, it's constant. This next accessory would be a switch because it's on the switch side. You can, it says it right there on, on, the, on the circuit board. So now that would be a switched accessory. So that would go on and off with the key. This one would always be on. Even if the key's off and it's taken out, as long as the battery's hooked up, that accessory would be getting constant power. Uh, so basically, that's it. So now all we have to do is find a place to put this. So stay tuned. Alright guys, I was still looking for a place to put the fuse block and there's not a lot of places on here and I really couldn't figure anything out and I was got to looking at this and I was going to move this to the side and put it here uh, but it dawned on me, I don't need this anymore. This was installed by the previous owner for the heated grips and it was installed fine. It's it, it's fine for what it is. It's a relay. It's, it's so that uh, the heated grips do not have power unless the battery or the, unless the bike is on. So once once it gets once it gets that it'll uh, click the relay will click and send power to the heated grips but basically I don't need this anymore so I'm going to completely cut this out and hopefully I can fit my fuse block right there and it should be good it it, it shouldn't block off this hole because if anyone if anyone's ever owned a DRZ uh, this hole is a 3x3 mod and that allows the air box to breathe better uh, so this was mounted here with a self-tapping screw, but I've taken that out. So now I'm just going to get all of this apart, all this tape off of here. I've started taking a little bit of it off, but then I remember that I need to record it. All right, so now we're going to check the connections. I mean, I pretty much know what they are. There should be a power, a ground, and a switched uh, 12 volt. Okay, so there's power there. No power there, so let's check that, see if that's ground. Okay, so we got power ground. Now let's switch back to our frame ground. Check this one, okay. That one is nothing right now, so let's check back to this. Okay, there's no... Okay, there's no power to that one. Okay, back to our ground here. We'll check the last one. And there's no power there. So I'm going to stick the key in the bike and we're going to figure out which one's which one's the switch. I just heard it click so I know for sure the relay is working. Alright, so we're going to go back to our power, or actually 
back to our ground. Now we're going to check this one. Okay, that one's getting 12 volts now. And that one's getting 0.12. All right, so we've got power, ground, switched, because I'm actually going to use this switched power source to run it to my switched power source on here in the middle. So that'll work out perfect. All right, guys, so I got a couple things done while the camera was off. First, I got rid of the heated grip relay in here, and basically what I'm left with is a free relay, and uh, I could use this in another project, so that's awesome. They're not very expensive, but you know, it's cool to have it, I guess. Um, basically, I went ahead and made a pigtail here. Uh, the previous owner had used a nice OEM style clip, which isn't OEM to this bike, but it, they're nice clips. You know, you can plug and unplug here uh, just like that. So, and that was hooked into the relay for the heated grip. So that was nice. So he could actually unplug this and this plug here runs straight to the positive and negative lead of the battery. And now I've went ahead and redid this, redid the plug myself and put in my own 12 gauge wire. And underneath here, I did a soldered connection and then put heat shrink over and then I uh, electrical taped over that. You could use uh, crimp connectors if you want. I don't trust them. Um, I always think they end up coming loose and and then you've, you've got connection issues. So you try to solder your wires if you can. Same with these. When I took these little uh, plug, these things out of here, you just push a thing in there and, and uh, they, they'll pop out. Uh, I went ahead and soldered those to the copper also. So those are those are all solid in there. And then I've got my spot to put my fuse for the main unit because I'm going to fuse this whole thing right here. And then of course everything inside will be fused individually. Um, so basically I can just plug this in and I'll have power and ground running into the fuse block. And I've also found my ground and positive wire. Of course, I'm going to cut these down quite a bit and clean them up for the heated grips. Um, I've got my switch 12 volt, which I've marked here. This was one that was running into the relay because the relay needed the switch 12 volt too so it can uh, turn on and off. And then all I have to do is pull out my uh, GPS uh, charging dock power and ground, which is just right here. And I'll pull that out and... Uh, get it ready to wire up and then we'll go ahead and mount this but uh, basically we're using 12 gauge wire to run from the battery to the fuse block we can use 18 gauge to run which is what this is which is already in here we can use that to run this 12 volt switched into this which uh, this all comes with instructions and it tells you the gauges to use but if you know uh, electrical you'll uh, you'll know what to use anyhow but uh, we'll use the 18 gauge like I said and then everything else um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to use yet it just depends on the accessories like they've already got their own wire so I may just use the same gauge because it's already ran and everything and same with this this is like a um, uh, 16 gauge I think it looks like maybe no this is an 18 gauge so these are 18s and this is an 18 I guess they're yeah, they're exactly the same. I guess I didn't look close enough. So we're going to run all 18 gauge pretty much uh, out of here. And uh, yeah, so we'll be good to go. All right, guys. We've got all our connections. We've got our main pigtail coming out of the battery. It's going to pretty much plug right in there. And we're going to have a fuse 12 volt constant connection to the fuse block. We've got our GPS, ground, and power. These are data wires, so those are just going to be put out of the way. We've got our ground and negative for the heated grips. Still going to trim those quite a bit shorter. And we've got our switch power. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all hooked together and, and get this where it needs to go.
right, tighten them good. You'll want to make sure that that does crush the wire a little bit, or else if you just tighten it snug, it won't uh, won't be tight enough because it won't crush the wire. So yeah, crush them a little bit, but don't overdo it. No big deal. Same with this. This is the 12 volt positive. So we've got ground here, switch 12 volt, and 12 volt uh, constant, which is going to be coming straight from the battery. All right, just had to twist that with some pliers to get the uh, 12 gauge wire small enough to fit there. It's made for 12 gauge, but uh, just the way I was spinning it with my fingers was making it too fat. All right, so here's our switched 12 volt. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this end off. And All right, so we got our uh, 12 volt uh, ground and 12 volt power from the battery running in. Now we're gonna hook up our switch 12 volt out of the harness into the middle, and this will be uh, 18 gauge wire. These are both 12, mainly because uh, this will be that you can use 12 or 18 for this, but it 18 is fine because all you're doing with the switched is switching this solenoid on and off. That's it. You're not running as, your accessories off of this connection. You're actually running them off your 12 gauge wire from the, straight from the battery. It's just this solenoid switches these on and off if you have have the fuse set to the switched position. So that is all hooked up and. It looks like it will, everything will wire and uh, fit right there. I may undo this switch 12 volt and run it underneath it here, which is, I think I'll do that now. I think it'll be a lot easier just to have it run right underneath all of this. All right, so now it's running underneath there. Now we've got our ground and power for our heated grips. That's going to be the first accessory we hook up. So this whole side here is the ground bus. This side is the 12 volt output bus. So we're going to look at the top and see which one's number one. I guess they don't have them numbered. So we can really start anywhere. Uh, for the sake of uh, being on this side, we're just going to start with this far one. All right, heated grips are hooked up. Next, we're gonna move on to the GPS, which I have hanging here. And I've got quite a bit of extra wire, no big deal, because I don't wanna cut this short, just in case I ever take this off of this bike. Uh, I wanna leave it long. So I'm just gonna basically put my positive in and then my negative and then hide the wire. All right, so there's all of my accessories hooked up. Uh, I plan on later on hooking up a, a USB plug up front or something, but for right now I've just got two. But now they're going to be switched, and I've got the option to hook up more accessories, like I said, instead of just having uh, the way they were hooked up before, I had the GPS on a switch connection up here and a switch connection back here, and uh, they took up a, you know, a bit of room. So... Um, now we can have it without all that and have more you know up to six items hooked up in here all right so basically i'm just going to put the cover on it and stick it down in here and make it all fit All right, so I've got all the wires tucked back where they were. Uh, I can always minor adjust things later on, but um, now we're ready to put in our fuses. So our first connection here was the heated grips, and the heated grips are a 10 amp fuse, and we're gonna want them switched, of course. So we're gonna want this fuse on the right side. That way it'll be switched on with the key and switched off with the key. Then we don't got to worry about leaving uh, the grips on or forgetting them on or uh, turning them on on accident and battery going the battery going dead. 
And for the next one, we've got a two amp fuse for the GPS, and we're gonna have that one switched also. All right, so there it is. All right, now we are going to put in our fuse for this, and I'm gonna see if the fuse blocks in the guide calls, or in the instructions calls for a certain fuse. So here's the instructions that fuse blocks gives you. They're, they're pretty good. And I don't think it recommends a, a fuse for everything or for the entire unit. All right, so now we've got everything hooked up and everything is working properly. All right, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the seat on, but I'm not gonna put anything else together because I've actually got a, a new lithium Shirai battery coming. I'm gonna take that uh, USA uh, lead acid battery out. And I've also got a new regulator coming tomorrow. Uh, more heavy duty and robust regulator. That way it can handle the new stator I put in because it is an upgraded stator. It's supposed to be 200 watt, but uh, I, don't ever, I don't ever plan to use that much, but I wanna make sure if I ever do, I've got the correct regulator to use it all, even though the stock would be fine for now. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out and we'll uh, put the seat on. All right, the seat is on, it's up a little bit, and, I, and it's normally because of these wires because this actually has to uh, push right down in front of this without this in the way. So right there, we should be fine. There we go. Seat is on, and it's sitting perfect. So there we go. The fuse block is installed and under the seat. And uh, yeah, I don't know where else we would have put it on this bike. But now, it should be good. And that's exactly where I'm going to leave it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, hope this helped you somewhat. At least find a spot for it. You know, I mean, uh, the wiring is going to be different for you, except the, of course, the standard install of it. But it's, the accessories you hook to it are going to be different. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.